In this matrix, there are two patterns of logic to take note of in order to find our missing element. The first is that in each row, there are three different types of shapes. There is a shape that is missing an entire side and has an arrow. There's a shape that's missing just a corner, but there's no arrow. And then there's a shape missing a corner, but it has an arrow. So if we look at our final row, we see missing side with an arrow, missing corner with an arrow. So we are looking for the missing corner shape that does not have an arrow. So we can eliminate answer choices C, D, and E. The other thing to take note of is the rotation that is occurring across the board. And this rotation is tricky to spot because these shapes are not identical. Normally we see rotations um, in shapes that are identical, but these are very similar shapes. And so rotation can still be a logical pattern underneath this matrix. So if we rotate 90 degrees twice, we end up with the shape that is over here or a very similar shape. If we take this shape and rotate it, that looks like our middle element, and this looks like our rightmost element. And same thing down here, rotate, rotate. So we are looking for a figure that is has an arrow pointing to the right, or rather it would have an arrow pointing to the right if it had an arrow. And the only option there, let me correct these real quick. The only option that matches that is answer choice F.